United States does not seek conflict in the Middle East or anywhere else in the world, but if you are worried, let all those who might seek to do as Ram knows this. If you harm an American, will respond, US President Joe Biden said in a statement. Following a drone attack that claimed the lives of three US soldiers at a remote base in Jordan, the US military on Friday launched multiple retaliatory airstrikes against Iranian forces and militia groups backed by Tehran in both Iraq and Syria. US Central Command reported that using combination of drones and long-range B-1 bombers operating from US territory, more than 125 precision munitions were used to hit 85 targets in seven facilities four in Syria and three in Iraq as a show of the power of the US Air Force. According to Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, strikes in eastern Syria have claimed the lives of at least 18 terrorists supported by Iran. The monitoring group told AFB that raids that covered a wide swath of eastern Syria from the city of Deir ez Zor to Albu Kamal close to the Iraqi border, destroyed at least 26 significant sites housing pro-Iranian groups, including weapons depots. Charles Lister, senior fellow at the Middle East Institute, posted on social media platform X saying, tonight's strike in western Iraq and eastern Syria are far bigger than any action undertaken before against Iran's proxies. Huge secondary explosions on both sides of the border suggest big rocket missile depots have been hit. While refraining from attacking Iran's territory in retaliation for the drone attack on Sunday, the United States blamed Iran-backed forces for the incident. Both Tehran and Washington have been trying to avert full-scale conflict. Our response began today. It will continue at times and places of our Choosing U.S. President for Biden said in a statement, The United States does not seek conflict in the Middle East or anywhere else in the world, but let all those who might seek to do us learn know this. If you harm an American, we will respond, he added. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby told journalists that the strikes lasted about 30 minutes, uh, uh, though they involved a lengthy trip for the B-1 bombers that took port after flying from the United States. He said the Defense Department is still assessing damage from the strikes which hit dozens of targets at seven separate facilities, but the United States believes the raids were successful and made clear that more would follow. Bien report.